Texas, baby. Best state in America. Spoken like a true Texan. I'm really excited for today. I'm trying a new soap. It is Pages by Hub City Soap Company. And why I'm really excited to try this soap is it's made in Lubbock, Texas. I'm originally from Lubbock, Texas. I now live in western Wisconsin, a little town called Eau Claire. Uh, but Lubbock is very near and dear to my heart. It's where I spent, gosh, 20, 26 years or so of my life. I still go back occasionally and visit friends and family. Uh, so that's why I'm super excited to try this. Well, I've tried it. I'm super excited to do a video on this soap. Um, as far as my other things that I'm using, um, I'm using my uh, Badger brush I've used it in the past. It's a West Coast Shaving uh, Badger brush as well as this West Coast Shaving. I believe it's like the Midnight um, Edition Super Fat Handle. This thing weighs a ton. It's open comb. It's as aggressive as your mother's new boyfriend on a Friday night. This thing, you gotta watch out for it. It can really, uh, it can do a number on you if you're not really paying attention. As far as the blade that I'm using in this razor, first time I'm using this blade, it is a Treat King. I really like most of the Treat blades that I've used, so I'm excited to try a Treat uh, King blade. And then I'm gonna finish everything off with this aftershave right here. It is the Tequila Tees Clubman Reserve. Uh, again, I've already used this a couple of times, but this is the first time I've used it in a video. So let's go ahead and get started here. I've pressed a little bit of it into a bowl here. Um, that's how I've been doing this uh, soap, just putting a little bit in a bowl and then bowl lathering that way. The soap kind of has the consistency of butter, I would say. Um, if that, you know, I guess that's kind of how it, it feels, at least to me. I don't know if over time it's going to dry out a little bit more. Uh, but yeah, kind of the consistency of butter. Um, I use a little knife that I have actually and kind of scrape a little bit out. If it's soft enough, I usually just use my finger. Uh, but in this case, I've been using this little little knife that I have. But here you go, getting the bowl lather started here. Now, a lot of people, I've already seen a lot of videos on pages. It was just released a month ago or a month and a half ago or so. Um, you know, and everyone kind of describes it the same. Obviously, it's called pages. Um, it, it does kind of smell like a leather-bound book. Or an old book, if you haven't opened a book in a long time, uh, it kind of does smell like that. Uh, a lot of people have also described it as smelling kind of like a an old room or an attic or something that you haven't been in in a really long time. Uh, it, it does kind of have that smell. But what really comes out for me is the leather smell. Um, and it smells like home. It smells like Texas. Uh, like I said, I've been away from Texas now for uh, several years, almost, gosh, 15 years or so. Yeah, almost 15 years. I left in 2007. Um, so I'm getting, I'm honestly getting close to or another 10 years basically. And I'll have lived outside of Texas longer than I lived in Texas. But I'll always be a native Texan. I constantly talk to my wife or, you know, brag about Texas, about different things. How big it is. How awesome it is. No, Texas is a great place. If, if any of you have never been, you should definitely visit. There's some cool cities. Uh, San Antonio is very, very cool. It's where the Alamo is. Um, Austin, Texas is cool. Dallas, Fort Worth. My folks live in the Dallas, Fort Worth area. Um, it's, it's a lot of cool things to do there. But again, Lubbock is where I'm from. It's a big city, a couple hundred thousand people. Um, it's called the Hub City, and that's where the, the soap gets its name. Um, the reason it's called the Hub Cities, it's kind of doesn't have a whole lot to itself. It's just kind of. It's kind of in the middle of nowhere, and then there's it's a hub. You can go 500 miles in any direction, and you can be somewhere else. I guess that's why it's called the Hub City. Not exactly sure, but Lubbock's cool. Flat as a pancake. There is 
No trees to speak of in Lubbock. It is a desolate, desolate place. Okay, so far, this blade and razor combo seems to be working. The Treat King. Just gotta be really careful because it is a very aggressive razor. So Hub City Soap Company is relatively new. Run by a guy uh, named David Lopez. Uh, really nice guy. I talked to him some on Facebook and whatnot. He's very active in the uh, Facebook community, wet shaving community. He posts a lot of stuff, mostly just pictures and stuff. I don't really know if he has any videos. And I, I believe he's a Lubbock transplant, that he's not originally from Lubbock. I like that a portion of the sales go to charity. Just all around good company. And a good soap. It's doing a great job, fantastic job here. Pretty excited tomorrow, I'm smoking a pork butt out of my Weber. So I'm gonna, we've got nice weather coming, so I'm gonna basically spend all day doing that. I did wanna talk about, two or three weeks ago I lost a friend of mine, unexpectedly. Way before his time, he was no spring chicken. but he was too young to pass away. Don't believe it was COVID related. He didn't, he didn't take the best care of himself, which is no sin, but I'm gonna miss him. He was my first friend when I moved to uh, Wisconsin. And we were friends for a long time. He passed away on a Sunday up at his family cabin. The Friday before that, Friday at gosh, about five o'clock in the evening, I was heading home from work and uh, I saw his truck pulling into a gas station. So I just thought I would, yeah, you know, I was, my wife was expecting me home. It was Friday night. Uh, I got a haircut. Can you see? <laughs> it was getting really shaggy. It's still long. It's longer than I normally do. But it was a much needed haircut. Anyways. Um, and I saw his truck pulling into a gas station. And instead of just going straight home, I thought, ah, I'll, I'll swing in and say hi. And I'm glad I did. Because he passed away essentially probably 48 hours later. I would have always regretted not stopping to say hello. It's one of those things, you know, if I had been 30 seconds earlier, 30 seconds later, I wouldn't have seen his truck. He was actually like pulling in and we both kind of ended up at the same intersection, just from different sides. And there he was in his truck. So I pulled in Hadn't seen him in a few months. We talk on the phone here and there. But him and I sat and talked for about half an hour in the parking lot of a gas station. And of course, I never thought that I would never see him again. It's just how things work out.
moral of the story, when you, if you're driving along and you see a long lost friend, take the extra time to, to stop and say, hey, it could be the last time for you even. Losing people is hard. Certain things remind you of them. As I mentioned before, I'm a big Packers fan. Uh, him and I went to a couple of Packers games together. I got a call the other day and I was at lunch and I missed it. And it went to voicemail. And then like later I listened to the voicemail, but I was busy listening to the voicemail. And so I saved it and then went back to listen to it later. And I had to start over from the beginning because I had a couple of saved, uh, it said, you know, you have five saved voicemails. And I had to go through all of those to get to the one that I was looking for. One of those voicemails was from my friend that he had left like a month ago or so. A couple of months ago, maybe. To hear his voice again. Yeah. Sorry to bring everyone down. I think what else is new? The wife and I watched a really good movie last night. Uh, Peanut Butter Falcon. It's got Shia LaBeouf. I bet I got it with Down Syndrome. It's a really good movie. If you get a chance to check it out. Peanut Butter Falcon. Yeah, I had to get a haircut. It was it was just getting too long. I used to have super long hair. I've mentioned that before that I had I had hair like to the middle of my back. It's a hassle. Stays wet. If you go to bed with wet hair, you get up the next morning, you look like a, a freak. I was in college. There's no way I was gonna buy a hair blow, a hair dryer that would have dipped into my beer fund. So I just went around through college with wet hair. That turned out really good. Yeah. Like I said, this razor is aggressive as hell. I was kind of worried that I might nick myself or get some razor burn or something, but no, I'm good. the aftershave I'm using is tequila teas and you're like how does leather how does the smell of leather blend with tequila it doesn't but when I lived in Texas I drank a lot of tequila <laughs> I was young you don't have to be from Texas to drink tequila but it's full circle if you will Texas Tequila, that's how I tie it all together. I trimmed up the beard, got a haircut. I just look, it just looks better. I'm an old man, I'm too old to have long hair and crazy mustaches. I'll do it again someday. I was gonna use the Allen block. 
I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm good. Like I said, that razor and that blade did better, honestly better than I thought. So this tequila tease, this uh, aftershave. It's okay, it's not my favorite. Uh, I've used it a handful of times already. Um, much like the other Clubman that I've used, it changes kind of profile. You get a lime at first, a little bit of tequila, but also like a lime, hint of lime, and then it kind of mellows out after a little while. It's kind of a soap smell, if that makes sense. Like that's the kind of secondary smell that I get. I bought it uh, after watching a video by Spider, uh, Spider Shaves. He was like, oh man, he goes, it's, it's really good. He goes, don't be, don't be turned off by the, the name or the thought of using tequila. He's like, it's good. And it is. It's the, the tequila is not over. It's not like splashing your face with Jose Cuervo. It's good. All right. That's all I got. We talked about a friend of mine, and we talked about the great state of Texas. Ooh, real quick. A uh, quick Texas fact. If you're in Texarkana, Texas, you are 50 miles closer to Chicago, Illinois, than you are to El Paso, Texas. It's true. It's like 840 miles to Chicago, and it's like 855 or something to El Paso. Look it up. It's pretty crazy. Yeah. Texarkana to uh, Chicago, longer than Texarkana to El Paso, Texas. Crazy. All right, guys. Thanks so much. Ooh, I've got uh, the next shave I'm going to do. I've got a sample from... Uh, Hub City Soap Company. Uh, it's called Chats with Grandpa, and I got a sample of that as well. So that's the next shave soap, that, or the next video that I'm gonna use. I'll use that soap. Look forward to making that, and I look forward to seeing you guys later. Take care.